So in today's video, I'll teach you five basic rules and principles that every winger should know. You know, little things that will not only make you better as an individual, but also enable you to help the team better. And of course, these principles may vary from team to team and coach to coach, but I genuinely believe that if you follow at least some of the principles, you will see an overall improvement as a player. And of course, I'll also need you guys help chipping in down in the comments if there are any important rules and principles that I'm not talking about today. So uh, let's get going. And the first thing you'll need to understand as a winger is that momentum is your friend. Look, being really fast and really strong is of course, it's very, very helpful, especially the speed thing as a winger, cool. But you'll also need to understand that as a winger, momentum is one of the key things for you in beating players. What I mean by that is that when you have the ball here, you have the initiative. And the defender, while you can act, the defender can only react. And that means that you can use momentum to your advantage. Let's say that you are running towards them at a good speed. You have a lot of forwards momentum. Either the defender is running towards you or tracking back a little bit, but you will always have more speed going forward than them. That also means that it only takes like a little touch around them while you maintain your pace for you to use your momentum to just glide past them because it will take time for them to go to the same speed that you're running at. So momentum here will help you beat them pretty easily. But it doesn't always have to be just running fast. You can also use momentum if you're running a bit slower or even standing still where agility and changes of direction is key. Because if you can manage to like pull a body feint and wrong foot the defender, meaning that their momentum is going in one direction while you run off in another direction, it will take a little bit, just a split second longer for them to turn around and get momentum in the same direction that you're going. Meaning you're already gone, right? So use your momentum to your advantage and use the defender's momentum against them. And of course, as a winger, you will need to be able to dribble, which is awesome because dribbling is fun. However, dribbling alone is not always the right solution. Of course, in a match when you get the ball as a winger, you're often required to dribble to take the ball forward and sometimes engage in a one-on-one -on -one against the defender to create chances for your team. But dribbling in itself is not always the right option. Because yeah, we've all seen Neymar and Vinicius Jr. skinning three, four, five defenders and humiliating them, and that's awesome. But look, we don't dribble around a player in order to take on the next player. No, we dribble around a player to create space for ourselves to either have more space to progress the ball with or to look for teammates that are in an open position. So what I'm trying to say here is that before you engage in a dribble against an opponent, you need to look up and assess the situation. Is there a teammate in open space that can be more dangerous than potentially me going on against the defender and risk losing the ball? Sometimes the dribble is the right option, especially if you don't have passing options. But in many other cases, maybe you should consider the pass and only dribble when it can create a better, more dangerous situation. Do you get where I'm going? Dribbling is great, but it's not always the right choice. And uh, we uh, might as well just talk about it because as a winger, sometimes you have to defend, which I guess for 90% of wingers is not their favorite part of the job, right? And I get it. You like to attack, to create, to be fancy and have flair and beat players and run fast and all that stuff. But the problem is that to do all of that, you need to have the ball. And if you don't, you need to win it back. And also, in general, you just have to help your team in maintaining a good defensive shape of applying pressure when needed and making the runs back to defend when you have to. I don't think anyone, coaches or teammates, likes the type of player that dribbles a lot, is very selfish, loses the ball a lot, and then doesn't come back to defend and try and win the ball back. Let me turn around. Imagine that if you try things, you lose the ball, but your counter pressure is just there. You work your socks off to try and win the ball back. You do your job. Then all of a sudden, your teammates, the coach, they will be more lenient if you try things. So do your job make the right passes, do your defensive work, and all of a sudden, you have more room to have fun. Defend. But 
Another thing you need to understand as a winger is that sometimes you need to make runs in order to not get the ball. And I know it sounds a bit backwards, but hear me out. Because if you are one of the best players on the team, you might think that it's all about you. Give me the ball and I will create something for all you puppets. I'll take care of it. But that's the thing. With great powers comes great responsibility. So you're also responsible for actually using your great technique and your fantastic dribbling skills and your vision, all that stuff, responsibly, right? It's also that if you are the best player on the team, the opponents will be looking at you. They will be aware of you being good. So if you make a run into the pitch and you start screaming for the ball, you are a threat. And if they're any good, a defender will automatically have to start tracking you to keep you quiet. What does that do? It leaves a big empty space out behind you that your fullback or a midfielder can run into and exploit. So no, you're not gonna get the ball right now, but you will have created a big, potentially very dangerous open space where your teammate can get the ball. And then after your fake run, you can run into a new dangerous position, get the ball and do filthy things. You filthy animal. And that leads me to my final winger principle, because as a winger, you need to make runs to be dangerous. Whether that's a deep run in behind the defense or a run where you come back, you get the ball, you lay it off, you go deep again, or runs into the box when the ball is on the other side of the pitch, you need to make runs in order to be dangerous. And also, more importantly, you need to always believe that you're going to get the ball with this run. Because if you stop making the runs and you just want like, I'm just gonna go here, pass me the ball, please. You are insanely easy to mark out of the game. And the elite wingers understand that you might not get the perfect pass on the first or the third or the fifth or the eighth run. But if you keep running, you keep getting yourself into good positions, you might just get that pass on the 10th or the 15th run that will help you set up a really good chance or score the goal. I just spoke to the local coach here. He said that it takes 20 runs to get a big chance and score a goal. Like, keep running, keep believing that the next run is the one that gives you glory. And then when you finally get the ball, you can use the previous principles to do something clever with it. Your spider sense, your natural vision and technique, and you're like, run. So guys and girls, there we have them. Five basic rules and principles that I honestly believe every winger should follow or as many of them as possible at least. Momentum is your friend. Dribbling isn't always the right choice. You have to defend as much as it sucks. You need to make off the ball runs to make your teammates dangerous and you need to keep making runs and believing that you'll get the ball. And if you follow these things, again, like I said in the intro, I do believe that you will see an improvement. But are there other principles? that we should also mention at the winger should follow. Let me know in the comment section right down below. If you need new awesome football boots, a new ball, new training apparel, you can get everything you need in the link to your sport right over there. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel with the notifications on. And if you want to learn skills, well, the playlist is right there. So click it and enjoy, my friends, and go improve. And with those words, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.